Hello everybody, this is Marty Smith from FullTiltPokerReport.com. Today I am actually on Full Tilt Poker and I'm going to show you how to use, or how I use at least, the uh, note and color system to keep track of your opponents. I actually combined that with Phil Helmut's Creature Guide here, which I reviewed on my other site at www.PokerBookReport.com. The book is actually Play Poker Like the Pros. Um, the book got a fair rating, but the uh, creature guide in it was uh, invaluable, and I've actually been using it ever since. And I find it really helps, and I'm going to get into how I use that in, com in uh, conjunction with Full Tilt Poker. So uh, what you generally want to do here is, uh, if you're eyeing a table that you want to sit down or... Um, you uh, uh, sit down at the table, what happens is that uh, you get the option to uh, have a look at one of these players and um, basically you right click the player, uh, you go to the player notes and um, there is a slide adjust here for what color you want to put by them. These colors could mean anything to you, so uh, you have to have a consistent system which is uh, absolutely imperative because if you mix these up in a way, they're, they're not really going to be that useful. If you can't really classify somebody and uh, maybe they are uh, in between certain color codes, you can always add notes on the player. And I could say this is uh, this player is uh, happens to be tight, so I can add a, add a little extra note here, and I've indicated in green. Once you uh, put a green color or a, or a chip color on this uh, player, you can see it right away and it shows up quite uh, clearly. So this is really invaluable. I'm going to change that later here, but uh, as we get into the uh, what the colors mean to me, uh, like I said, they may mean different things to you. Uh, in Phil Helma's Creature Guide, what happens is that um, there's he gives about five classifications. I've added one, which I'm going to get into as well. But the five classifications are general enough so that you can uh, put a player into it, but you can't, uh, or it, it kind of negates you from locking them into it. There is a bit of range, and of course, we all know, you know, one day you could be playing like a jackal, another play day like an elephant. But uh, what these animals actually mean are indicative of their name as well. Uh, for example, a mouse is going to be very tight. It's a book player, plays tight all the time, plays small pots, uh, but they do come out fighting for the cheese, and that means they generally have the goods. So let's say, for example, I think this guy is a mouse. Well, it's probably unlikely since he has a picture of a shark, but let's put a mouse thing here, uh, or a mouse color here, which is going to be dark blue. And I'm going to say uh, fold it, or uh, well, let's say checked down top pair with ace kicker. Okay, so that's a good note. That's a good note. Um, and he's blue. So right away, I know I know he's tight. Next time I'm going to come across him. And especially if you have a look at some of these six-seated tables, it just so happens that uh, people flow in and out of them quite often. So you might not see him in a month, but uh, who knows, when he does pop up again, you do have a note on him. Uh, e, uh, or a green, is for an elephant, which I did mark this guy, which, you know, playing at a shorthanded cash table is probably not uh, what he is at all. Because an elephant is passive, plays too many hands, calls often, uh, generally doesn't raise a lot. Uh, he's hard to bluff because you know he's going to be calling. So if he's in your blind, you got to be careful. Um, and he's really hard to put on a uh, on a hand because he doesn't normally fight back. Um, he's just going to be accepting your money and uh, calling it down with things like ace high. So it's kind of dangerous. You pretty much have to have the goods. And if you're building the pot, you are building the pot to, to win it against a player like this. So let's say over here we got a lion. A lion I have as the orange color. And uh, wow, you could do a lot worse than being a lion on, on internet poker. They're tricky. They know their position play. And uh, they know the odds that they generally have a lot of experience, either live or internet, and they have the ability to mix up their play. So you can't really place them, but you do know um, that they are aggressive. They're generally aggressive before and after the flop. So you have to be prepared that not only are you going to be calling a raise from them pre-flop, but uh, you know that you're going to be looking at a raise unless that uh, flop doesn't 
uh, hit you, um, that you're going to be looking at uh, calling a raise uh, right after because they're generally aggressive. I liken uh, lions to semi pros online. Uh, they generally know what they're doing, and um, these guys generally make money as well. They're uh, in and out uh, different, uh, several different sites, and um, pretty close to making an online living, possibly. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm going to put this, I'm going to change this color here to the next one, which is a jackal. And a jackal is uh, somebody raised with four, six, offsuit, early position. That is something that a jackal will do. A jackal is a maniacal player, raises with lots of hands, has a little regard for position, and uh, basically uh, doesn't really wait for hands. His... Uh, is uh, op operative is basically putting pressure on you as a, as an as his opponent. Um, it's all sort of play money to him. So if you're if you're a tight little mouse, you you're probably going to be in in tough with a, a player like this. That's jackal, maniacal. Um, in tournaments or even in cash games, jackals may do well for a short time, but they do generally end up busting out to somebody like a lion or even a mouse. Uh, if a mouse comes up with a big hand and a lion can um, have the wherewithal to re-raise them when they need to, I don't think he's a I don't think he's a jackal, but who knows? Maybe he's an eagle, and an eagle is one of those uh, professional players. Uh, let's say. Uh, High stakes, nice. I'm going to put high stakes cash games here. So let's say I run into this guy. I, may, I might not even be playing high stake cash games, but on a site like Full Tilt Poker, a lot of the pros, they do end up in tournaments. So you might end up on a tournament uh, table with somebody like this. You see what I'm doing here? I'm not even really sitting at this table, but... I'm scouting and let's say, and you could probably scout in certain situ situations, like maybe you want to move up a level uh, and you want to scout the, the 1020 table, whereas you've always been playing the 510 or the 25 Hold'em table. You can also scout in a situation like when you are in a tournament, maybe there's four tables left, you're at one of them and you want to pop up the other two tables and Let's say you're playing tight on your table. Uh, in the meantime, you could be scouting some of the other tables and giving them uh, color, uh, creature indicator colors uh, while you're waiting for hands to play as well. Because let's say you got a good chip stack, you could very well be um, um, looking to uh, be seated next to one of these players when the, when the tables merge. That's a good way to scout as well. Eagle is a professional player. Um, there's a lot on. There's a lot of them on uh, Full Tilt Poker. You'll see the likes of Phil Ivey, Howard Letter, um, uh, David Benjamin, uh, uh, David Gray. I saw on here. There's there's tons of them. Chris Ferguson, Andy Block. So those those guys are easy to recognize. But there's also some other guys here who have a nice little bankroll here, and you want to mark as a pro as well. Now, another one that I have uh, found, I'm going to try and find another table here with a few more players. Let's look at this one. Um, and I'm going to mark, let's, I'm just going to pick on somebody here. Okay, all in. I'm gonna, he's all in. He's lost all his money. So I am going to put him as a monkey. A monkey is somebody who might be learning. Um, they're basically a subhuman poker player that simply doesn't know any better. They're a newbie, they're unbluffable, they're dense. You can't even insult these people because they just are, are that clueless. I don't really run into too many of them, but you do get them once in a while. And for instance, they could be in a hand, you know, holding pocket fours and the board shows queen, queen, ace, king, king, you know, and they might you know, call a river bet. It, it just really weird stuff like that. They just, uh, they're kind of clueless. Uh, but equally as dangerous, probably even more so than somebody like an elephant because uh, an elephant is calling station. But they even sometimes have the sense to, to get out of hand when they know they're beat. 
monkeys do not, and uh, they're all over the internet, so you have to uh, watch for them and take advantage of them. Anyway, I hope that helps you. Full Tilt Poker is a great site to play on, lots of good features, including the ones that I just showed you here. If you do want to sign up, there's a $600 bonus, and that is on, and uh, please go through my site. It's a fulltiltpokerreport.com. And I have a couple other sites too. If you want to read some of the more uh, some of the more uh, better books that I like, uh, at www.pokerbookreport.com. Okay, everybody. I hope you make some good money at the tables this week, and I'll talk to you next time. Thanks again, and best of luck.